The Danger of Perverse Modern Church Doctrine on Women Trouser Part 1 Today modern church preachers slash pastors and modern Christians say that God looks at the heart and this excuses them to behave in any manner that is detestable and disgusting. My beloved, let me remind you, God is looking for the obedient, repentant, broken, contrite and a believing heart towards his commandments, judgments, laws, and statute. Hence God is caring and also after your whole body, hands, legs, head, stomach, blood and not only your heart, an obedient heart will know that God requires of him slash her to dress modesty in the eyes of God. God is looking at how you present your body then the sacrifice, singing, praises, and worship, you are bringing before him. Immodesty dressing in the church. You cannot come in the presence of God half naked, with jewelries, makes UPS, women trousers, pants as it's often called in western countries or in the United States of America, or seductive dressing and think you are right with God, how foolish is that excuse. The modern preachers preach that women putting on long dresses, skirts are old fashioned and they say that God has changed the way we should dress and therefore they make the standard of God for holiness towards God absolute and fetish and saying it's backward, so they are busy luring the church of God into sin and hell by encouraging the women to wear trousers, pants, leggings, mini skirts, and admonishing them that it's not sinful because we are in an eras of grace. If I may ask, does grace gives us the licenses to thwart the written word of God? The word of God is eternal and life. God is truthful and he can't change and neither can he compromise in his word. The Old Testament still holds it grounds in the life of Christian and the devil knew this fact and also tremble. Deuteronomy 22 5 The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. This immodesty and perverse act has prompted the women in the church to lure into ignorantly in sin, prostituting before God, they wear half naked, some are real naked and they say it's modernity God doesn't care about it. Most of today churches has changed God's standards to make their own standards, for there's no fear of God in the church. But let me remind you young lady, your pastor is in apostasy, false, a blasphemer and therefore leading you to hell in your trouser, pants, leggings, tight jeans, and you shall reap eternal death and those are works of sinful nature and never can the Holy Spirit dwell in you in such type of dressing. Immodesty dressing in today modern churches. I was not too long ago called old school by a new school Baptist pastor, who preaches on women being modest about twice a year, but his definition of morality for ladies permits them to wear trouser, pants, slacks, and other men's attire. May I say I am proud to be called old school evangelist concerning morality. Biblically, women ought not to wear trouser, pants. That's what our text verse says. Women ought not to wear men's clothing. Many prostitutes wear trouser or pants, which is the attire, clothing, of a harlot, exposing her shapely thighs. Proverbs 7,9-10 In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and, behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot, and subtil of heart. In the early twentieth century, only whorish women in brothels, whorehouses, wore trousers or pants. You couldn't find a woman wearing trouser or pants in public in 1900. Those were the good old days. Women wore long beautiful dresses. In the swinging 1950s, women started wearing slacks and mini skirts, which escalated into the nudity of the 1960s, resulting in millions of unwanted pregnancies and the murderous abortion industry of the 1970s. Old Women on Modesty Dressing so many women wear trousers, pants, these days that the shame of immodesty is gone. After decades of declining shame over sin, now even homosexuals are legally permitted to marry in all 50 states of United States of America. Evil companies like Walt Disney and other companies encourage young girls to dress like prostitutes, wearing high heels, lip gloss and negligees at 11 years old. Unbelievably, there are numerous clothing companies that fabricate and sell whorish attire for children. They ought to be in prison. 
The word of God is very clear that a woman is prohibited from wearing trousers, pants. It's a wicked thing and abomination that clothing designers today make trousers, pants, for women. Trousers, pants, have always been men's clothing. It is shameful that most Bible colleges and evangelical churches, even independent Baptist churches and other Pentecostal churches don't preach against women from wearing trousers, pants. A woman that wears trousers, pants, is disobeying God. She is not right with God. If she is an older woman, she is encouraging younger women to wear trousers, pants, by wearing them herself. A trouser, pants, on a woman draws men's attention to her hips, curves, and bodily shape, which is a precursor to sexual immorality. Though you may wore it with a good conscience mind but have in mind that men will certainly lust after you. The danger of woman trouser in the church. When you woke up in the morning, after taking your bath and apply nice cream, you see so many nice clothes that would cover your body and but you refuse to wear them. Instead, you start applying palm cake, rubbing, bleaching cream and otherwise. And at that moment, you remember your earrings, attachment, wig on, bangles and eyes lashes, mouth lips, nails painting and wear a clothes that would exposes your breast, nakedness, and reflecting your shape while walking in the street and even going to church with all those attires and head uncovered. Worldly ladies. And before you walked 15 meters, about 100 men has already slept with you right in their heart because of marine clothes, attachment, painting, and makes up you are putting on. In a day, over 1,000 men will had slept with you in their heart. You are indirectly winning souls for Satan through your indecency clothes. And yet, you still profess been born again, with intention of going to heaven and see no reason to hearken to all the heaven and hell warning salvation message and teaching, divine revelations and lamentation of true preacher around sent by the Lord to warn you. Although your pastor may had refused to correct you due to selfish interest, to enrich his pocket by laying down treasure here on earth, been afraid to lose your membership in the church or properly he might be one of the agents from kingdom of darkness, sent to deceive and lure you to an eternal punishment in hell, therefore abandoning the gospel of truth and life. Instead he goes about preaching motivational and inspirational messages at the pulpit. Pastor in the pit of hell. I promise you, he has his reward. His reward is awaiting for him in hell after death because God's doesn't respect pastoral or ecclesiastical earthly title but rather after your written name in the book of life. Moreover a woman wearing trousers, pants, blurs and diminishes the distinction between femininity and masculinity. May God deliver today modern churches from masculine females. Femininity and masculinity difference. What do you think God prefers? that which discourages lust or that which encourages it? Certainly not. Back in the year 1900, you couldn't find a woman wearing trousers, pants. Our nation was much better off back then. Feminists like to talk about the oppression of women in early days, but that is a lie. Women are far more oppressed today. Today our streets are filled with prostitutes, many of which are getting younger and younger. Is this liberation? Nudity is more prevalent today in society than ever before. Is this trusting in God? Since 1972, nearly 60 million human beings have been brutally murdered in the womb by abortion. Is this freedom for women? What a sickly society we live in. By teaching young girls to focus on their body, beauty, hair, and makeup, instead of their good character. Young girls are captivated with one day becoming old enough to start dating, as if that's all that matters in life. From the time they are old enough to walk, they are targeted by Madison Avenue companies who want to sell them sexy toys, sexy movies, sexy clothes, sexy video games and sexy dolls. Sex is being sold to the kids. Females wearing trousers, pants, may seem harmless and even laughable when a preacher speaks out against ladies wearing them. This is where it all starts, at the beginning. The clothing that you wear determines your mindset. A woman wearing a long dress is going to behave virtuous and ladylike, whereas, 
a woman wearing trouser or pants is going to behave more sexy, tomboy-like, and loose. To be continue in the second part perverse immodesty doctrine on women trouser.